Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman and today we're going to be continuing our exploration of Canestia, the land of or dimension of the mechanical devices with robots and dwarves. But first, uh, although I said I was going to just continue where I left off, I realized I'd gotten a lot of experience um, in all the fights that uh, you saw and also were edited out. And I wanted to come back to the old man and try to get some level ups. So, probably should heal. And that's, that's, ooh, that is a bad thing. Bad thing. Um, go. Okay, so somehow I've crashed the game. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so here's what I'm screwing up. Uh, when I loaded... When I loaded the game, I screwed up which floppy disk was in the drive, and the game did not handle it. It just tried to load stuff off the dungeon disk, and it crashed. I always wondered if that was possible. Anyway, so, um, here's... Our current levels, uh, Grisnox hit 45, I think we'll find that all of the fighters have managed to hit 45. Our bard could theoretically sing 45 bard songs, except that she can sing infinite. Uh, how's our rogue doing on her skills? Probably still all 99%, I guess they never hit 100. Elendor says level 16 chronomancer. Max spell points 519. Griselda is a 16 archmage. Her max spell points are measly 393. Partly because I think Elendor started from level 1 and Griselda missed out a bunch of level ups. Uh, Lillian is only level 15 and has 365 spell points. Anyway, that's our, those were our level ups. Uh, and now, after that painful series of crashes and and goof ups, um, first I'm going to reposition the game screen back to where it should be, and then uh, off screen I'm going to head off to the private quarters in Canestia. See you at the, meet you there. Okay, and at long last I've managed uh, to get back to private quarters in Canestia, and we're standing here, having just left this area that on the screen shows up as Ferrofis. In fact, it's still showing Ferrofis. When I say no, though, it's going to update. I don't know what Ferrofis what, like Ferrofis booze hall, Ferrofis um, drinking parlor. I, I, I don't know. I've called it Ferrofis hall because it seemed, I don't know. Like a thematically pleasant name. And as as before, there's no actual door drawn on the wall here, but it is a passage and does line up. So I'm pretending it's a wall, I guess. And here's a silence square. And there's a trap ahead of me somewhere. I couldn't see it from here, so I guess it's probably here. Well, I guess I should map what I can see um, from here. So door, there's a wall in the north and a door in the south, and then, yeah, that's as far as I'd be able to see anyway, and I think there's a wall in the middle and two doors to the north and south. Going through the door to the north, you can see these walls. I 
was weird. When I was here, I could see a something, and then I guess it was because it was a fight. But I'm pretty sure it was uh, something over here. McMashers and Involtron. See when this is done. Okay, that was a little long because I had to shut all the windows. My neighbor was trying to poison me with spray paint. Let's go around here and find out what that something is. First, let's see what's in the south. And the way that dead ends makes me wonder if that's the edge of the map. It is. Um, okay, so I have a pretty good idea the map edge is for the most part. Oop. This marker. I'm a little unclear how far it goes north. I'm sure that I can um, see it, but counting it is a little tedious, so we'll leave the north edge unmarked for now. And because I can tell this is the edge, I'm gonna go down here first. Find out what that something is later. Hmm. Okay, so there's an odd on the other edge of the world. Um. Up here or something. So there's a whole row of them up there somewhere. And this is just a little dead end corridor. <laughs> I'm learning more about what's up there. And beyond that, a trap. Oh, excellent. I suppose I should use the dark... Oop. Dark dotted line for the entire border. We're assuming it's a wall where not otherwise marked. And these bunch I'm going to kill off screen. So I'm not picking up anything from this fight, which is making me start to worry that I'm out of inventory slots. So let's start off by using a harmonic gem and do a little inventory review. So, I have a canteen, I definitely don't need more than one canteen. If I see another, let's dump it. I don't need a soothing bomb with one charge, that's for sure. I just loaded Chantrell's inventory a second time. Uh, Elena... Never using these thieves darts. They seem to crit, by the way. I don't remember whether I tried that on camera or off. Which is nice. I mean, things that crit are nice, but she 
crits anyway when she hides in shadows, so I don't know. I'm not sure whether I should be carting them around. Okay, that's a little bit of inventory cleanup. I'm not going to worry about the rest for right now. Hmm. Is there a door to the south? Yes, okay, I was wondering if this is another um, dead-end corridor with no doors, how do we get into those locations to the south? Switch back to normal doors instead of those weird dotted lines. Looks like I'm in a fight again. And again, nothing particularly interesting. See when they're dead. That is awkward. Lady Oakshield found a the book. I'm gonna drop it immediately because um, it just cures dispossession, and both archmages can easily cure dispossession. It's not worth an inventory slot. I didn't. I, I do wonder what a troth lance is. Um, I thought that troth was a short uh, name for betrothed, or betroth as in you know, fiancés to be wed, but maybe it's like also truth or something? I don't know. Maybe I should look it up. Uh, so Lady Oakshield can use it. It sounded vaguely paladin-y to me. Um, or maybe just equip it? If it's an equip thing, I guess I don't want it because I like my stone blades with instant death. Yeah, I can't use it. So, um, I guess I'm dropping it. I mean, the best case would be it's another instant death weapon that also does something else useful. I don't know, I guess if I find it again, I could try it out. Nothing in here head out. Incidentally, private quarters. I wonder if it's the quarters for privates? Probably not. Probably it's someone specific's private quarters. And in, in that case, who specific? So that was a very enchanting... I thought that why did I think that spell point drains didn't show up on my on my um, sorcerer sight scanning ability? I thought they didn't. That makes me think that it's actually two kinds of something. I'm gonna just run in from these guys. I don't know why. I just oh, iron droids. I guess those are new. So maybe next time I will not run from them, and we'll maybe even keep it on camera. Uh, this time I'm trap zapping this trap to the east, and then we'll go over here. I'm gonna go one more and look north. So from way back here we could see this door. But from right here we couldn't. I don't I don't know, that's sort of very strange. Or we could see like the edge of it, but not enough to clearly see it's a door. The strangeness of tile sets. Uh, facing south, it looks very similar. Go on the right, then on the left, then on the right. Nothing, nothing to detect. In the store we go. And it's just... Well, something's loading. Magic siphons. Yeah, we fought these before.
Let's see if they've bothered to figure out a new kind of item to drop. That is not a harmonic gem. This is a little... I, what I really need to do is, is uh, put that Night Spear in the bank. It's not... It does like 70 damage or something. It's not worth using anymore. I mean, I could drop it, but it's a souvenir. The item off to our rogue, and our rogue to identify. And it's a gem. I really need to start casting more spells. Starting with... Shadow Shield. frequently forget that one. It's our two extra armor by virtue of using Chronomancer armor spells. I'm going to start with this western door. Oh, and in, behind the door is a door. Behind that door is a wall. And nothing else. And let's go through this farthest south door now. Some of I feel like the exciting stuff's gonna be left up at the north end of this um, region, I guess. What do we got this time? We got those iron droids I'd said I'd show on screen this time. So, attacking them. It's probably not going to be a very exciting combat because, as I mentioned, I need to use my spells more. I get so many gems. Why not? Just everyone, everyone die. There's the Fatal Fist. Got rid of the iron dwar dwarves, but not the siphons in the back. The iron droids, not iron dwarves. I don't, I don't know what I said. I think I said dwarves, which is not not correct, as it as it turns out. Uh, I feel no urge to use more spells, but I probably should. Uh, what's a strong attack versus a single group? All I can come up with is Night Lance, which I can also cast for free. Well, a single group that's closer up, I think there are better options. But they were 40 feet away, and now they're all dead. Okay, well, those are droids. They did some reasonable damage, like 150 or something, which I should be wary of. But they also went down very quickly. So looking in here we have a wall here and a door here. Sweep the room first. A single silver droid. I will fight a single silver droid. Because I assume it will be dead very quickly. 172 damage, look at that. I guess there's a theory that now that I have all these... Now I have I have spell points to burn, it's sort of inefficient to uh, spend time fighting single enemies. That barely gave me any experience points worth talking about. Oop. Wrong cursor key. Seems we're in a fight, and I'll bother to put this door down before I forget. 
gold manglers. Oh, gold manglers. 23 clan cards. I think these are not new, but I'm a little unsure, so I guess I'll keep it in. Um, Bard will do Kiel's Overture, which is basically a large blasting spell for free. Uh, Fatal Fist, which is not at all free, but it's very strong. Mangor's Mallet and Mangor's Mallet, and everything should hopefully die. We're not at the point yet where, of the game, where a full hit from Fatal Fists doesn't kill things. A thousand damage is still killing enemies. I think that will change later. Here's our Kiel's Overture, mostly being repelled. I guess I should have cast an anti-magic mixed in with the other spells. Or, I guess the idea in my head that anti-magic helps us overcome their resistance is not, you know, that might be an invention of mine. It may not be true. Oh, you don't, you don't have a heal all spell. You have a heal all spell. I probably should just be using luck more often, which I think does increase our chance of success in general. See, 20,000 experience points seems way better. I mean, that took longer than the fighting off the one guy. But it, I got 40 times as much. I'm pretty sure I, got, I spent maybe four times as long in that fight as far as the single opponent. If we count in, you know, getting the treasure chest un, unstuck. Okay, now that I have a second hourglass, I need to really start testing out the one I already had. Oh, and here's a fight. Let's uh, test out the hourglasses here. So, who has an hourglass? I think you don't. Um, you can just turn something to stone, a converter. That seems worth killing off. Do you have an hourglass? No. Uh, uh, you can kill a converter in the C group. You have an hourglass that you can't use. Okay. Uh, kills Overture. Let's try the Thieves Dart on a Converter. I'm going to have to slow it down to see what actually happens. Mm, you don't have an hourglass, so you can Fatal Fist it up. Okay, so here's the red usable hourglass. Griselda will use the hourglass. Oh, there's no target. You just use it. Well, we'll s I think it's going to try to freeze everything. So, Mangar's Mallet, and yes, let's start slowing things down. It's maybe a little slower than needed. Elena used the dart, and that caused her to breathe? That is not at all what I expected. I expected her to throw the dart. Uh, Elendor is actually casting Fatal Fist, and this is doing exactly what it usually does, which is to kill almost everything that doesn't resist. Okay, some are left alive, which is good, because then my my hourglass test will <laughs> will be able to find out what actually happened.
And there's the Kills Overture song, which is surprisingly not killing anything. Is this the hourglass? I think it is. Okay, so the hourglass just hits everyone. I think it's like a stun spell. Something like that. It's a shock everyone spell for 200-ish. Okay, that's not that useful. Uh, an item that does 200-ish to everyone is nice, but take up an inventory slot and only have like four charges? I don't know. Like, And it's only used by mages, so it's like something you'd only want to use sometimes. And when you don't want to cast a spell yourself which does more damage. I don't know, that seems very questionable. Attacking, attacking, those are like really kind of maybe it'll advance attacks. Hide, um... Might as well use a gem, you got nothing better to do. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. You should use restoration. And you should use a gem. Should speed this up now that we're no longer testing items. That last guy is dead. Okay, let's make sure that that not very good thief dart is not clogging up the inventory here anymore. It's not. And similarly, let's get rid of this hourglass. Who cares about something that doesn't do that much damage and you wouldn't want to use all the time. Okay, uh, turn the lights back on. Use a gem. Let's clear the gems out of some other people's inventory. Here we go, our rogue can hand one over to Griselda, and then I can accidentally leave my rogue's inventory. Oops. And another gem over to Lillian. Other people are carrying around pointless gems. Well, gems they can't use. Oh, here's an hourglass I don't care about. Let's discard that. another gem to hand over. Okay, let's go back to exploring this dungeon level. To the south, I expect we'll see what we already know about. Yes. Although we can detect the spinner now. I wonder I didn't notice about it before. the north, um, there's a door on the right, wall on the left, another door on the right, and a door on the left, so, and we also see a spinner that way, but I kind of don't know where exactly. Okay, so this location has reassured my knowledge that we can't detect magic drain squares. We can also, and this is also where the spinner is. Uh, I'm going to run away from two golden anglers. I don't care. Not enough experience per time. So from here we can detect the spinner. And from here we can detect the something. So the spinner is either here or here as is something. Oh right, the old, you can't put another label near another label unless you work at it. Uh, 
Um, might as well locate them now. Well, I think the something and the spinner are both not here. They're both in the next square. They could be here also, um, but I'll find out in a moment. Okay, so definitely the spinner and the something are here because they disappeared as we stepped forward. So the next question is, what is the something? It's not a help spell point drain. Let's put us in warp mode. 326 is the spell points for Elena, and they went up to 330, so this is a spell point regen zone. Further to the north, we can see a segment with two walls, and a door on the right, and a wall on the left. To the west, uh, I can mark the walls reliably, but the location of the trap and the spinner are a little unclear right now. So I'm going to try going into the wall behind it here. Ratchet Reavers. Uh, those are new, I think. So I guess I'm keeping them for now. Keeping this fight in. Shade Lance. Oop, oop, oop. oop I'm, I'm, I'm a failure. Shade Lance and Shade Lance is what I'm going to do. And then Fields Overture and a Hide. Uh and luck, and defend, and use the bat Master Wand. So they were at 80 feet. In a moment we'll find out how fast they advance per round. Somehow I'm suspicious they're going to be at 40 feet. But most things seem to do around here. Yep. Okay, so if they're going to enter hand in combat next turn, I'm going to have my fighters attack them. Elena always goes first though, I think. Um, so as a result, I, she's going to hide again. It's an unfortunate thing for rogues. It's nice that they go first sometimes, but sometimes it's unhelpful. can disarm this one the old-fashioned way, just for variety. And they gave me nothing. Nothing. Uh, oh, but I can see something more accurately now. To the north. This is not a wall. This is a wall like this. Where, where can I not? Oh, I'm in label mode somehow. Uh, can I go south through this? I want to. I want to go. Oh, I can. A place where we can go through walls. Because I want to look west from this location. Okay, so I can still sense... Oh, I'm such a doofus! Because facing west here, I could detect something in a... Well, the trap, at least, I know is here or here. Some of the things I could sense from here were the same as where I was standing, so I learned nothing by sensing them from behind it. And this is gonna... These will, these will all get killed off camera, just so you know.
I guess I just learned there's a silence three from the edge here. I already knew there was something special here or here. It's, I might be detecting the passageway. Well, I don't know. We'll find out later. Oh, and I was standing in the spell point drain again? Is that right? Oh no, I just saw them go up and I thought they went down. I'm just dumb. Okay, so... There isn't anything special in here, and I'm gonna phase our way out of here again, because I think it's cheaper. Then taking two hits. What? What? I moved my ah! Uh, I moved my thing on the map, and I didn't move my thing in the game. I sort of thought of them as the same action, but they're definitely not the same action. I fooled myself. Oh, and I hit the uh, option H, command H. They're very similar. Okay, so I can see now... Oh, again, wrong. I moved instead of mapped. Anyway, um... There's a door in the north wall. I just... I, I just went right... I was trying to turn! And, uh, I skipped through some dialogue. That's a mistake. Yeah, I stepped here and tried to turn, and I missed out on... Whatever the game was trying to tell me, uh, I'm gonna choose to abort and see if we can get that text again. Hidden away in a corner of this room is a strange key. Judging by the oddly shaped handle, it looks like you use your left hand to turn it. I don't remember who has the right key, but I, my usual pattern is to hand off items to people at the end of the party. I did do it this time. Who's got the, the right key? Oh, Grisnok has the right key. Can I hit the left key to her as well? For some amount of simplicity of where I have things? No, I can't. <laughs> what she got? Uh, canteen can be on anyone. Paladin has the canteen now, because of its moral virtue. And our warrior has both of the keys. Hold on a second while I extend this edge. Is it really lining up like that? Is it really gonna... Yeah, it happens to line up with the uh, heavy line. So this area goes almost as far south as the hall, and as far north. That's a little dissatisfyingly arbitrary. It's like, almost lines up, but not quite. Anyway, whatever. Let's, we see these things in the, in the hallway. Uh, and let's go... Uh, let's leave the auto map and go west through this door. Tongue shield. I think that might be an upgrade for some people. And of course, I didn't pay attention to who picked it up. I'm terrible. I'm suspicious that the tongue shields cannot be used by anyone who doesn't already have it. Uh, Grisnak. Oh, Grisnak and Lady Oak Shield and Chantrell already all have tongue shields. 
What is my rogue using? She has just picked up a Shade Lance, which she can't use, which I'm going to drop. I have two of them. That's as many as I need. Mm, we have Dragon Shield. So if she can use a Tongue Shield, it's an upgrade. With a question, of course, who has the damn thing? Oh, here it is. On Griselda, which is why she couldn't accept a Harmonic Gem. Trade this off to Elena. Elena, can you equip it? You cannot. Okay, tongue shields are now forever garbage to me. I also think it's getting to be about time to end this session. And if I think maybe it is, I'm probably over time already. That's how I tend to do. That's how I tend to roll. Um, so uh, I'm gonna kill these off screen. And turn my lights back on. And I can't stop myself. I really want to see if there's anything at the end of this little corridor. And there is not. But I can detect odds all around. Uh, I, I don't even know how to... I guess I'm going to stop here and think about how I'm going to map that in the next segment. <laughs>